on and on and on. Choggies, 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 choggies. Where are the choggies? Choggies, 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 choggies. Where are the choggies? Choggies, 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 choggies. Where are the choggies? We're so smart and we got the brains. We're kindergartners trying to have some fun. We spin around and act all crazy because we're the joggies. Joggies, 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 joggies. We're the joggies. Yeah. Joggies, 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 joggies. We're the joggies. Joggies, joggies. No, no, no. Police secured. Hello, hi, hi there. We're the joggies. I'm Goody. I'm Jenny, and I'm Jack. How are you guys doing today? And we're so happy to hear that. Are you ready to make some new discoveries with us today? Awesome! Then come with us right this way. Wee! Come on, you guys! Right over here! Alright, come on! Wee! Hey! Do you hear that? Yeah! Do you hear that too? I do! It sounds like a siren! Ooh, that is a pretty loud siren! Do you know where that siren sound is coming from? Ooh, ooh. Yeah! That car over there! Let's go check it out! Come on! Ooh, ooh. Ah! That's so loud! I know! It's making my ears melt! It sounds cool! Oh, sorry there, kids. Ahem. Didn't mean to scare you with my siren. Ahem. Wow! Are you a police officer? I sure am. My name is Officer Mubs. But you guys are welcome to call me Officer, Mr. Officer. Nice to meet you, Mr. Officer. We're the Joggies. I'm Goody. I'm Jenny. And I'm Jack. Nice to meet you, Joggies. Goody, Bundilia, Jack. What are you doing around here? Well, I'm a police officer, and it's my job to write down tickets, stop down bad guys, and write down anything illegal around the town, making sure that everyone in the town stays safe. Those are the important duties of an officer. Tim, <laughs> do you love officers and police officers and policemen? They're pretty awesome, aren't they? We sure are awesome. We're the superheroes around your neighborhood. Yeah! Uh-oh, I think somebody's speeding. I better go catch them. Hey, do you guys want to come with me and see how it's done? Can we? Oh, we would love to. That sounds awesome. Oh, cool. Jump in. Let's go find that speeder. Let's go. Let's go. Whoa, I'm going so fast. I got to slow down. Hey, please park the car over. Oh, no, I'm being pulled over by the police. I better pull over. He pulled over. He sure did. He was going so fast, he had to stop. What are you going to do now? You kids come out the car and follow me and watch how the rest of it is done. Uh-oh. Is that guy going to go to jail? I hope not. I hope he didn't do nothing bad. He is an innocent guy. He shouldn't have to get arrested. All he does was speeding. Yeah, he didn't hit nothing, did he? I don't think he did. Come on, let's get out and find out. Good idea. Follow us. <gasps> dum, dum, dum. Oh, I'm sorry, officer. Was I speeding? Yes, sir. You were speeding, and that was dangerous. Oh, no. I think we were right. I think he is going to go to jail. No. It's, it's okay, officer. He didn't mean to. Oh, hello there, little children. What's the matter? I'm sorry, sir, but I'm going to have to... No! Don't arrest him! He's so innocent! Please, officer, spare him one more day away. Yeah, he doesn't deserve to go to jail. It's a bad place for him. Please? He didn't mean to go fast. He'll slow down next time. Right, mister? Oh, don't worry, children. He's not going to arrest me. He's just going to write me a ticket. Oh? Yes. Sometimes officers don't have to always arrest innocent people for speeding. We just write down tickets for them to pay. Thanks, officer. I'll make sure I pay for this speeding ticket. Thank you, mister. And next time, drive a little slowly. You're on a street, not a sidewalk. Yes, sir. See, children? I'm not getting arrested. Oh! 
For a moment there, we thought you were going to go to jail because you really weren't doing nothing bad. You were just speeding so fast. And that's like the opposite of dangerous. That is dangerous. If you're speeding on the road and you're not looking very closely at what you're doing, you could really hit something like another car or a pole or anything on the street. That's why it's good to take your time and drive. You'll understand one day when you guys get older. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, officer. I'll take my time and drive. Have a good day. You have a good day, too, mister. Thanks a lot, officer. And that's how it's done, kids. Oh, thank you, Mr. Officer, for not arresting him. Yeah, we were scared. Aw. You know, if you kids ever do some discoveries about police officers today, you guys can do discoveries about what all stuff that police officers can do instead of pulling over and arresting. Really? Yeah. You know what? Go test it out today if you ever get the chance. Well, kid, I enjoy teaching you guys how it's done, but I got to get back to my work. But it was nice meeting you, joggies. You too, Mr. Officer, and we'll see you next time. You too. Woo. Bye. We just met a real-life officer, and I thought that guy was going to go to jail. Man, he has a cool card. We got to go tell the others. We do. Come on. Come on, let's go see Mr. Giggles and the rest of our joggy friends. Hello. Hello. We're the joggies. I'm Bundelia, and I'm Jack. And this is our pet hamster, Hamsty. He likes you guys. Oh, hello there. It's so good to see you guys again. And this is our next door neighbor, Mr. Giggles. Mr. Giggles, I'm here to make you giggle. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, good morning, joggies. Bundelia. Freshy? Hi, Mr. Giggles. Hi. Hello, Hamsty. I need them. Now, where's the rest of your joggy friends? Here we are, everyone. There they are. D d there they are. There they are. Hey, good morning, guys. Jenny, Goody, Jack. Good morning, Mr. Giggles. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys. Welcome. Do you know, hi, Hamsty. Hi, um, We got everyone here today. So glad to see everyone here today. So, what's the news today, joggies? What's the news? Mr. Giggles, you're not going to believe what me and the boys saw. Oh, y'all see something? Was it cool? It was very cool. We seen a police officer. A police officer? You mean like an officer security? Yeah, those kind of police officers. And he was introducing us to him about his job. Wow, I didn't know you guys were actually going to meet a real life police officer. Did he have a police car? The biggest police car we ever seen him ride in. And also, he brought us inside of it to show us how his work is done. Oh, you guys got to see how a police officer's work is done? Yep. We pulled over a guy for speeding so fast. Oh, no. Did he get arrested? <sighs> we thought he got arrested, too. But guess what? What? He didn't. Oh, he didn't get arrested? No. It turns out he was just speeding so fast. So the officer had to write him a ticket to make him pay for it. That is true. If you're speeding in your car so fast, you can get a ticket for that. Yeah, but I actually thought he was gonna arrest that guy. That guy looks so innocent. He didn't want to go to jail. I know, I'm just used to police officers doing that. Yeah, me too. Yeah, every time I think about police officers, I just think about jail. Oh, don't worry, guys. Let me tell you something. Police officers may arrest people, but let me tell you something. Not all police officers have to always arrest people for certain things that's illegal. They don't? Uh-uh. Sometimes, when you do something bad and you break the rules of the law of the world and the towns and the cities, usually, you can get wrote in a ticket that way you gotta pay for it. So if you pay for a ticket, you don't gotta worry about breaking the rules any other again? That's right. If you break a rule against a city, you can get a ticket that's very, very illegal. You can get a car note for it, and on that ticket, you have to make a promise that you'll never, ever break that rule again. Oh, I don't want to do bad stuff because I don't want to go to jail. Yeah, jail is a very bad place for bad people. It's scary in there and disgusting. Ugh. But that's okay because as long as you're doing the right thing in life, you don't got to go to jail. And I know police officers are very scary enough to take you away. That's not always the case. It's not always the case. Uh-uh. Streets are very dangerous because not only you're driving your car on the road, but there's other people in the world who have lots of cars. There are plenty of cars in the world. And the streets are for everyone. That's right, Jenny. The streets are for everyone. And to talk more about it, we better go to the chalkboard. Okay, come with us to the chalkboard. <sighs> everyone get comfy. Come on, Hamsty, get them. We're going to talk about the importance about 911. 911 is a special number you got to dial to write down all emergencies. There are plenty of emergencies. Ambulance, if you're sick or hurt. 
firefighters, if there's something burning in your house or a building, you know, smoke, ah, and then there's police officers, which you guys seen earlier today, who has a gentle job of helping you settle down fights, arguments, and anything that's illegal in life. Whoa! Mr. Giggles, I'm confused about something. How do 911 usually know what you're looking for? I mean, you can call 911, and then you can just get all confused, like if you're trying to tell them that you want the ambulance or the police officers, how do they know who you're trying to get for? Because, you know, you got to call them from the same number. Well, Goody, you can always tell them who you're trying to reach. You can tell them. You, you got to tell them. If you're calling 911 and you're trying to go for the police officer, you need to say, help, I need police officer. Really? Yeah. You can tell them. You can tell them rather if you want a firefighter in case you have a fire. Remember, these calls are only for emergencies. They're not for playing with. Nope. They're for serious emergencies. That's right, Jenny. 911 is only supposed to be called during emergencies if something serious is happening, like if something really serious happened. For example, if there was a smoke in our building, there's a smoke in our building? Ah! We gotta get out of here! We gotta call! Guys! Guys! It's just an example! We're practicing! Oh, sorry, Mr. Giggles! Oh, no, it's okay because you guys are learning because <laughs> you guys didn't know what to do at first. That's right, we're practicing. If there really was a smoke or emergency, we got to reach the firefighter or if somebody was hurt, like instance, if someone were to break their leg or if they fell and they can't get up, that would be a time to call the ambulance or if someone is arguing and, you know, hitting each other and, you know, speeding on the road so fast, that's a perfect time to call the police. Da -da 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 -da! Wow. Wow. And then when they get here so fast, they'll get here as fast as they can. Because for it being an emergency and very serious, they don't want to lose nobody. So they got to speed as fast as they can. That means people got to clear the roads for all the emergency cars so they can be able to get by and get to that people really fast. Ah! And that's all the importance about calling 911. And if you do all that, you'll be safe in life. Wow! It sounds to me that lots of dangerous stuff can happen in life. That's right. The world can get really dangerous. But as long as you got the right people next to you, everything will be okay. 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 Yeah! Woo! Thank you, thank you. Hey, what about you guys? Have you ever had to make 911 emergencies before? Oh, wow, interesting. If you have, you guys are doing the right thing by calling your parents and letting them know about emergencies. That way you can call 911 with them and let them know what's happening. Yeah, keep your own city safe. Yeah, make sure your city is staying safe too. Then you'll be all right in life. Trust me. Nothing bad will happen as long as you do the right responsibilities by calling 911 and anyone else you know. Wink! Man, talking about 911 emergencies is so much unique and interesting. I just feel like singing! So do I! Come on! Let's sing about 911 emergencies. <laughs> There's a problem. There's the siren. We've got to go! We got to go! We got to go! 911! Time for an emergency! 911! Time for an emergency! We gotta go! Hop in your car! Let's hit the road! Something bad is happening! We gotta go save the day! Save the day! Save the day! 911! We gotta go solve the emergency! 911! Time to save the day! If you're driving fast on the road and you're feeling sorry, don't cry any longer. You're just worrying about the rules. Hey, you're driving so fast. Try to look for it next time and slow down. Yes, officer. And thank you. I promise I'll keep myself safe. Yay! 911. We gotta go solve the emergency. 911. Gotta save the day. 911. Look both ways before crossing the street. 911. Keep yourself safe from the world. Among the world now. It's among the world. It all takes special duties of an officer keeping yourself safe in town. And when you want to know when something is wrong, ask a grown up, for example. 911, gotta go solve the emergencies. 911, oh, gotta go save the day. 
saving the day from 911 if anything bad is happening in the world. No. Chicken, we're practicing about 911 emergency safeties. Join us. Whoa, Hamsty, you gotta be careful. The streets are very dangerous. They're full of cars and trucks and anything else that moves and goes. Let's help Hamsty practice street rules. What's the first thing you do when you're crossing a street? Do you look both ways? Or do you just run across the street without looking? Yeah, it's better to look both ways to make sure there are no vehicles coming by. Do you see any vehicles coming by? Nope, there's nothing coming, so we're free to rock. Come on, Whisk. Come on, Hamsty. Let's walk together. And when you're walking the street, should you hold someone's hand or just, just go by yourself? Yes, it's better to hold someone else's hand for safety so you'll be safe together. Together. Come on, Hamsty. I'll hold you. You're right, buddy. It's time for us to go. Wait, look both ways. Anything coming our way? Nope, there's nothing coming. So we're free to go. Sometimes it's best to run too. Look, there's someone coming, which is me, a guy driving. We did it. Did we make it safe across the street? Yes, we did! And it's all from the importance of our street safety. Now we're ready to cross any road that we can go among. And thank you guys so much! You guys are good at street safety. And one day, if you guys got across the street or somewhere, you'll know how to look both ways and hold someone's hand. So you'll make it across safely. That was very good, you guys! And Hamsty, you did a good job about holding Jenny's hand. To be safe. Chino, yeah, yeah. All right. Hey, everyone, gather around, gather around. Yeah, Mr. Giggles, we're going to practice more about street safety. We are? That's right. By practicing the importance of our street lights, street lights, the lights to help you know when to stop and go. That's right, Freshy. We're going to learn about them because if you guys ever get a car one day or if you're driving in a car with your family, you got to know how to practice the street lights so you'll know when, the, when it's time to go and slow down and stop. And it all takes from the colors. Does anyone know three colors of the street lights? Um, I think there's red. All right, there's red. There's another one. Um, I think there's bright yellow, like the sun yellow. That's right, Jack, sun yellow. And there's one more color. Who can name it? Green? That's right, Bundilia. Green. I got it, Mr. Giggles. You got it, sweetie. Yeah. All right, now let's practice it again. But this time, using the actual colors. Does anyone know? Hey, hey, you can help us. Yeah, join us. So you can practice street lights for your own too. Yeah. Let's practice the first color. Does anyone know what color this is? Do you know what color that is? Yep, it's red. And when you see the red light in the road, does it mean stop or just keep on going without ignoring it? Yes, it means you have to stop. You must stop. Stop! You gotta stop your car. That includes everyone else's car on the road. All right, we got it. You guys are doing good. Let's practice the next one. All right, moving on to the next color. When the red light is on, it skips to the next color. It blinks to the next color. Does anyone know what color this is? What do you think that color that is? If you said yellow, you are absolutely correct. That's yellow. When you see the yellow light, it means you have to still wait. Wait until the coast is clear. Make sure all the streets are nice and cool. Make sure you're looking at the streets too to make sure that there's no other accidents across. And that means you gotta slow down. Make sure your car is getting nice and slowed down for you to pump it up again. And finally, but not least, the last color that everyone already knows. Does anyone know what color this is? Green, that's right. And what happens when you see the green light? You go or just keep stopping? You go! 
you go. You keep on going. Now that you practice all the street lights and you see the green light, you can keep on going because green means go. That means all the streets are coast and clear. And you're welcome to keep on driving to your destination. All right, you guys did it. You practiced the three main colors of the street lights. Now you know when to stop, slow down, and go. You guys did excellent. You guys are all ready to drive on your own vacation trip. Uh, 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 um, with the practice of street lights, good job. All right, we did it. You did it. Well. Now we know lots about streets and crossing. That's right. Oh, man, what a workout. Who's ready to go outside for some fresh air? I do, I do. Let's go outside for some freshy fresh. Get it? Uh, 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 we get a freshy because that's your name. Uh, uh, come on, everybody. Let's go outside for some fresh air. All right, come on, let's go. Lock the door. So, dun, 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 dun. Whoa. Oh, don't forget everybody, while we're outside, we might come across some streets of our own. But that's okay, Mr. Gilligan, because we know about street safety. Yes, you do. We'll see if we can remember. All right. And did you guys also know that there are walking signs? Walking signs? Yep, to let people know when they had to stop walking and keep on walking. For example, if the sign says stop, does that mean you have to just keep on going or just stop? That's right, you stop. First, the light turns red, and then the cars have to stop because they know that people are coming by to walk. Then, when the walk sign says walk again, you're welcome to walk, but don't forget to hold hands. Hold hands, everyone. Hold hands. Let's go. Now, we all walk together. Beep, beep. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Then, the light turns back to normal, and then we're free to go. Wow, I forgot all about the walking signs. That's right. Walking signs are part of street safeties, too. Always look at the signs. They always help you how to aim where you're going for your destination. It's the right direction for it all. Of course. Yeah. Woohoo. Hey, look. It's the police officer guy again. He's back. Oh, hey there, joggies. I didn't expect to see you guys again today. Hi, Mr. Officer. Hi, Mr. Officer. Hey. Oh, who are these other guys? Oh, we meant to tell you. We have other friends. These are the rest of the joggies, and this is our neighbor, Mr. Giggles. Oh, officer. Evening, sir. Afternoon, sir. Hello, hello. So, are you all the joggies? That's right, we are. Chew, chew. What are you doing around here this time? Well, just like you guys see me earlier today, I'm doing my officer work again. Just like earlier today, just like earlier today. Mr. Officer, sir, is it true you like the... Do uh, lots of safety stuff on the streets, especially when people go so fast. That's right, honey. It's my job to make sure I got to stop speeders from driving so... What's that? Did you guys hear that? We do. It sounds like an engine. Yeah. Look, it's that car coming. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, wow. Damn. Whoa. Did you see how fast that car came by? Oh my goodness, did you guys see that? Yeah, that car came by like jump. Uh-oh, we got another speeder. I gotta go catch that speeder. They're driving way too fast, whoever's driving. I gotta stop them. They can get hurt real bad from an accident. Dun, 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 dun. Hey, would one of you guys like to come with me? Dun, um, dun, um. We'll go. All right then, Jack, Jenny, Goody, you three, come with me to go stop this speeder. You got it, Mr. Officer, sir. You got it, officer. You got it, sir. All right, the rest of you, stay here. Make sure everything's all right. We'll stay here and keep an eye on the speeder in case something bad happens. Good idea. Dun, dun. Here, take one of my walkie-talkies. Stay in contact. Got it. Dun, 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 dun. Come on, guys. Let's go get that speeder. They're driving way too fast. Let's make sure that no one got hurt yet. Let's go find out. <laughs> uh-oh. Oh, no. Dun, dun. They went that way. Got it. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. We're right behind the vehicle. Oh, no. It's speeding again. Catch up to that car. Run away. Man, that car is driving crazy. Yeah, like someone is late for something. Something serious, right? Yeah. They need to slow down. 
They're making me run out of gas if I gotta keep chasing them through the town like this. I wonder how the others think about this. Here, I'll get in contact with them. <laughs> Mr. Giggles, come in, Mr. Giggles. You read me loud and clear. I read you loud and clear, officer. What's going on in your end? Well, right now, everything is safe on our end. What about your end? You find the speeder? Yes, Mr. Giggles, we found the speeder, but they're not slowing down. Calm down, guys. It's okay. Just help the officer keep his eye on the road. Make sure you watch out for the speeder. Make sure you look in both ways. You know, it's a dangerous it's a dangerous street up ahead. Just make sure you keep an eye on the road and look out for the speeder. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Here he comes right now. Yeah. Wait, you guys see the speeder? Where? Where is it? It's coming down the same road it came from. Oh, no. There it is. It's coming, and it's still speeding. Shield, slow down. Whoever's driving. Uh-oh, guys, I think you might have to do something. That speeder might hit something or hit someone. Thanks for the heads up, you guys. We'll call you right back. Over. Shield. Uh, slow down. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, no. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, whoever's driving that car, they're not slowing down. How are we going to get them to slow down? We're going to have to yell at them to slow down. But how? They're driving so fast. I don't think they can hear us. Oh, don't worry. Speakers? Whoa! Microphones? Microphones. <sighs> if we can yell at the driver to stop, I'm pretty sure she'll stop. We need your help. Will you help us tell the driver to stop going fast and stop the car? Great. Here, put your mouth on the speaker and yell with us. Stop the car! Can you say that? All right, on a count of three. Ready? Um, one, two, three. Say it! Stop the car! Stop the car! Stop the car! Uh-oh, I gotta stop the car. Whoa! I gotta stop my car! Whoa! the microphone and got the car to stop speeding you guys are excellent at this thanks for all your help come on let's go check on the driver are you guys okay guys wow you guys did it you guys did it you stopped the car from going fast we sure did now let's see who this is excuse me person Innocent person, but I'm afraid you are driving extremely too fast on the road. That was extremely dangerous. Please roll down your window. Okay, officer, I will. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Miss Icky? Joggies? Mr. Giggles? Miss Icky? I, I don't understand. Ma'am, you are driving extremely too fast. I know, officer. I don't know what came into me. I guess I was just... I thought we were having a race with all the other cars. Ma'am, you're on a street. It's not a race. The streets is very dangerous. You have to take your time and drive. You could have hit something. You could have hurt yourself. You could have hurt everyone else on the road. My bad, officer. I gotta stop doing this. From now on, my lesson is learned. No more playing on the streets. This is serious. That's right. But I still gotta write you a ticket for all that speeding. And I'll make sure I'll pay for it. Thank you. Yay! Wow, guys! I want to thank you guys so much, too. I didn't know you guys were with the officer. Yeah, Miss Icky. We're officers now, and we helped the lung for aiming at them. Thank you, everyone. You saved me from almost getting hurt. I thought we were going to lose you, Miss Icky. It's okay. You didn't lose me. Oh, Miss Icky. Ha-ha. All in officer's work. Do, 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 do. See you guys later. I'll make sure to pay for this ticket. All right. Yeah. Joggies, I want to thank you all so much for helping me do my officer work. You guys know the importance about speeding and tickets and dangerous about the streets. And I bet that one day, if you guys were to become police officers, you'll make great ones. Thank you, Mr. Officer. Yeah. And a special thanks to you guys for helping us tell that Miss Lady, Miss Icky Lady, to stop and slow down. You guys are excellent. Way to go, you guys! You guys are great officers! Yeah! I'm so proud of you, kids. We learned so much about safety, about 911, street safeties, 
pulling over and innocent people. You guys did such a good job and one day you guys will become good police officers because you'll know the importance about street safety. Well done. Thank you, Mr. Giggles. And we also want to give a special thanks to you guys too. Did you enjoy special officer work today with us? We're so glad you did. And one day, if you guys become police officers, you'll become brave at it and safe at it. And we had so much fun with you guys again today. And we can't wait to spend time with you again next time. Bye, everyone. See you guys later. Remember, keep learning, and we'll see you next time. Stay safe, everyone. Remember, keep learning, and we'll see you guys later. Stay safe, everyone. Bye, everyone. See you guys later. Nice meeting you. Bye, guys. See you next time. Chew. Chew. Do -do -do -num -do -num -do -num. Whoa, whoa, whoa! We're making business! We're making business! Bad, bad, bad! Bad, bad, bad! Coming up next, it's Paper and Sheep! Whoa! On Mount Perk Tiny, meh! Wee! Here I come! Yeah! Whoa, yeah! Awesome! Let's see here. Two plus two is, um. Um. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Four! You got it! Yeah! Woohoo! Woohoo! Um! Dun -dun 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 -dun. Yeah! Then. Mmm! Mmm! Dun -dun -dun -dun. Mm. Your Melper Tiny friends are always ready to play with you. Yeah! Woo. You can go to MelperTiny.com to play fun games with your favorite characters and also watch full episodes online for free. Let's go, go, go to the Snack Snack Snack. Ah, <sighs> ah there. We're staying all night. There. You might just need a bigger house or a bigger room. Join your first adventure today at MelperTiny.com. MelperTiny. Hmm. I'm never going to stop watching MelperTiny.